Today, uh, we are here on my balcony together with the Honor 400 Pro and I want to show you one special feature of the Honor 400 Pro that has something to do with the background there that you can see eventually. Yes, it's about zooming in to this television tower or the water tower there with the AI zoom feature on the Honor 400 Pro. So let's get started. So how is it done? First of all, we are in the camera application. We go on 6x zoom. Let's try to match it there. And then I just zoom in. And then if you go over 30, I think 30x, just in a second, there will an icon will appear, the AI icon. And if you press on this, AI super zoom uh, is turned on. And now I can take a shot like this one here. And I can turn it off and try to take the same shot so you see the difference between AI zoom on and off. And when you go in here you will see that the AI zoom needs a bit of time of processing but already here on the phone I can see the big huge difference. Let's check it maybe out on the big screen. So here we have the first file, the first snap that I did. I'm doing it full screen. Don't worry, I'm doing it side by side as well. But just to show you the effect, this is the one that I took without AI zoom enabled. And this is the one with AI zoom enabled. You see already the sharpness detail is completely different there. And it's super smushy, it's super, super soft, and there's no detail levels. All the lines are super, super uh, invisible almost, where it gets super, super sharp. But let's take a look at some other shots, like this side by side, for example. On the left, we have the one without AI zoom. On the right, we have the one with AI zoom. What you can see clearly directly is the sharpened up kind of look. Look at the antennas and the detail levels there. They're simply here completely not visible. It doesn't look like an antenna even. Here you can see it is an antenna, which is quite nice. And this is without zooming in. <coughs> and this is really what is, I think, the point of this AI zoom is make it good on the smartphone screen itself, make it more detailed looking on the smartphone screen itself, because when I zoom in, it will fall apart immediately. You can clearly see it here, first of all, without the AI zoom, but then even with the AI zoom, it is an improvement somehow, but it is artificial improvement. So not everything is correct here. So what we have actually hanging here, I think it's just a wire, where here it make it invented new stuff. This is what AI does usually. So you can clearly see that AI is not 100% always clear. And where you can see here is another line. It completely removed this other line there out of the equation, which is a bit of a bummer there. On other things, I think it is still doing an okay kind of job, like this little window that is still open there and the slit is open there. And some other things, it's basically it's not it's beyond sharpening up. It is adding some contrast. It's inventing new stuff into the picture. And I know that some people don't like it. Some people like it. But I think it's a start. And it is clever from Honor to introduce it only for the 30x and beyond zooms. Because this is the one where you will notice it immediately most often when it comes to uh, zoom. If you zoom it out like this. That it's just clearer looking. It is not about the croppability that you crop in and you can see details, much more details that you didn't see before. It's not about it at all. It's just about it that you see it on a small, uh, tiny smartphone screen. You don't zoom into the 12 megapixel shot. You just have it left out and this will give you nice, nicer little details than uh, yeah, the left one for sure. And you can clearly see even if I go to this 100% view, it's still looking a bit more detailed, but it is fake details. And this is something that you don't want in particular with, uh, let's say, portrait shots so much or humans shots because it can make too many mistakes there. But for this kind of long zoom ranges, people tend to forgive this because they know AI, it is not perfect. And what AI is creating here is a little bit better what the non-AI version is creating. And I think it makes perfect sense for like an upper class mid-range phone like the Honor 400 Pro to have such feature. You can clearly see a uh, distinguish those two pictures from each other in terms of detail levels. And we have even more of those details. Let's check it out. Maybe let's do it the same. Like the left is still the one without AI and the right is the one with AI. You can clearly see again more details, a bit more sharpening, a bit more contrast 
on the one with AI, where the one without AI doesn't look bad in this example, I would say. I think here the one looks a bit overcooked on the Honor 400 Pro's AI enhanced version, where the Honor 400 Pro's non-AI enhanced version looks a little bit more camera-like in my opinion. When you zoom in, you can also clearly see the difference in terms of what AI is doing here and what, where things are invented, which in this case is not always good. This is why there's a toggle to turn it off because there are people who don't like it, but there's also the possibility you say, um, I, I want it. I, I have to have more details here in this, for example, uh, because I want the shot to look like a little bit maybe over-processed, but a bit sharper there. And you have the option to do so. And it is, yeah, from situation to situation, a different kind of story because because a just different to how a camera works. It's always always if you have use the same glass, producing the same results or should produce at least the same results. AI might be unpredictable in certain situations. So if I take another shot of this one here, AI might have processed it a little bit differently, and might get even a better result. This is why I recommend when you take AI shots, you want to take AI shots, you know you're in a situation where you want the AI enhanced shot, just take multiple shots maybe and see how AI is like, or maybe change the angle slightly or move slightly to have another AI rendering. Maybe you will get a shot that you will like uh, the most then. That is the thing that you will have definitely with AI. And uh, let's go to the other one where I would think this one is tremendously better with AI enabled. You can clearly see what I mean right now. First of all, the major blooming that we have here of overexposure and so on, it's like corrected a little bit with the AI. It's making it more uniform and clear looking. Well, here this little pole is gone already. Here it is just inventing one just to make it coherent with the rest. But this star here, which is like used for Christmas times and it's turned on there at this, uh, at this tower, almost invisible here on the 400 Pro without AI. With AI, it gets much more visible, much more clear, and you can see the little cracks or stuff they repaired and so on, where here it's a little bit harder to see certain things. And AI is also trying to repair certain things as well. But also the individual, individual uh, kind of openings here, you can also clearly see with AI enhanced version, where here it's like a mess on the non-AI. AI enhanced version. So yes, AI enhanced has some benefits and uh, is sharpening things up, is adding a little bit more details, but it's also changing a little bit of colors and adding a bit of contrast. You can clearly see it here with the wall where we have a little bit of more contrast and a little bit more of brick, bricks added because this is how AI think this building looks like. And yes, it is coming true to how they, uh, the building really looks like, which is quite nice. So it surprisingly can restore a lot of details of things and yeah, reconstruct details out of thin air, basically. Because if you get this shot and you are ending up with this shot, it is like reconstructing <laughs> things out of thin air because you don't see the brickwork so much. So this is quite fantastic. But there are also some side effects that you can clearly see here. For example, the colors and the, the, the contrast level are um, the, the whole spectrum of um, range, dynamic range is like massively uh, changed here on the AI enhanced version, uh, which also is fantastic what they do here in terms of like getting out of this pixel cake and make some kind of flowers out of there. But still, it is uh, in its infancy still, even though I'm, I'm glad that Honor is pushing this. But yeah, use it with care, I would say. There is a reason why it is not turned on by default all the time. It is a toggle that you have to turn on because it's turned off. At least it was turned off for me by default because it is uh, unpredictable with its results. And sometimes you get better results. Sometimes you get more realistic results. But sometimes you also get like completely unrealistic results. And the more photos you, you take, I think the more it will improve as well. Also in the future with um, better chipsets and of course with Honor's newer algorithms learning a little bit of, uh, yeah, more about how pictures are taken and what people take pictures. This is why they're limiting it to 30x and on zoom because it's like a limited amount of pictures that you can take with this zoom level. so it makes it a little bit easier for honor than to learn and improve upon so what do you think about this ai zoom uh, feature here i'm uh, positive well, i'm slightly optimistic that this is going maybe in in a few years will be 
something that some people won't like. I also don't like, I like sometimes more enhanced um, clarity of uh, optics, of, of, of natural beauty instead of like artificially adding stuff or reconstructing stuff. But on the other hand, I can see it uh, being benefit if it works the way you intend as a photographer. You want to take a photo with those details. Like I want to take a photo, I wanted to take a photo showing off this star. And if I have the right photo here, I can really show it off. And it might be impressive for some people that don't know about AI. On the left, it's a bit harder to do. So it depends on the intent that you have. If you have the intent of having the most natural kind of photo, then AI photography, even with this, especially 30X zoom, on a smartphone beyond is not the right thing to do but if you have an intent like i wanted to show the star for example just to, it, it's perfectly fine i don't have anything against ai the zoom and uh, enhancements here like this one here that really improves the clarity of the picture for longer zoom what is your opinion about ai in being introduced into smartphones first the flagship ultra flagships the pro models and now even yeah, tumbling down more and more into mid-range territory like the Honor 400 Pro, which is an upper mid-class or a mid-range kind of phone. What do you think about it? Write it down in the com comments. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye. And yeah, I forgot to get this off. I just, it's just a earbuds, you see. These are the ones from Sunbeats, the Eclipse, but I like to use those because they're open, you hear your surroundings, but you still can listen to music, still can talk, uh, take calls and so on. Very, very useful. And they're so light that I just forgot putting them off before starting recording the video here. Interesting for some, maybe. How do I transfer over my files from the Honor 400 Pro to my Linux desktop, Linux computer? First thing I have to make sure they are both in the same Wi-Fi here, yeah, the Wi-Fi turned off. So let me connect to my Wi-Fi, it's connecting automatically, very nice. So I'm connected to the same Wi-Fi here as well. And what I can do now, I have KD Connect installed here on my Linux computer. And I have also KD Connect installed here. So I can just go to my gallery choose the photos that I want to transfer over, click on share here, and then I can go to KD Connect and say, this is in this case, the computer that I want to transfer to. And you can see it is starting transferring and the files are now on my computer and I can use them, very easy.